Leslie leads the youth program at Holy Family Lutheran Church and serves as the chaplain of Holy Family Lutheran School. He serves as an example and inspiration to young children and teenagers as one who's made it through because of hard work and dedication. When he was a young man going to school, daring to carry his Bible through the city of Chicago to go to school every day. It was at that time, it was noticed that Leslie was definitely marching to his own beat. Leslie and I met when I first got to Holy Family at, uh, in 1989, and uh, he started speaking from the pulpit. He was a teenager then. Um, and it was really profound, the things that he would say and what he talked about and how he talked about them. And after each talk that he would do on a Sunday, he and I would share ideas. We'd talk about what he spoke about and how he, um, how he put his ideas together, and he was always very impressive. We need today in the church, and across our whole nation, we need leadership that can command people, that can help us become who God has created us to be. And he has that God-given ability to connect with people. If you've ever heard Leslie preach, he's a storyteller. Everybody listens to the stories that Leslie has to tell because when he starts with a story, it's always going to end jubilant because he ends it with showing God's grace through every story that he tells. These stories are expressed through sermons, poems, and rap. Leslie has the unique ability of reaching several generations in the same room at the same time. He moves from old school to new school with a whole lot in between. He's just so real, so honest. Um, he gives you all he has um, right there on the spot. I mean, he is, uh, he's genuine. He's full of integrity um, and he's full of love for people. I mean, Leslie truly loves the Lord and just simply wants to serve. He is one of the most humble, peacemaking people that there is. And peacemaking, I mean, he believes in the power of prayer. Let go and let God is Leslie's motto. Never ever veering from putting God first. In his own life, he has touch in his hands. When Leslie touches you and prays, he doesn't let you go until he feels the healing process has begun. He comes up with these magnificent children's sermons Every time he preaches I'm, the children's sermon, it's, they're, they're all so good. You wonder how much more of that does he have in him. We should remember that Leslie is a very special person. That his ability to command a, a congregation, a crowd, to engage people with the gospel is going to be a hugely important and needed gift in the new worlds that we're going to have to uh, address in, in God's calling to be the church. He has the kind of presence that when you talk to him, even if you've never seen him before, or when you hear him talk, you'll get his graciousness. Even if he doesn't say a word, but when he does say a word, and more than that, because he loves to talk, then you'll get that much from him too. But he's got an enormous presence, and it's so spiritual, and it's absolutely infectious.